I'm Jennifer Angel from Mistress of Astrology. These are your stars, Pisces, for week commencing October the 21st. Now there's a lot of activity happening in your solar ninth house. I love this area of the chart because it not only covers long distance travel and international affairs and study, but it also, I feel, covers how you feel about your life purpose and where you are in life and where you want to be and how you're going to orchestrate your life and what plans you'll make to, to travel the journey to get there. So it's a very much an area of um, philosophy and, and higher understanding, a spiritual area of higher understanding about yourself, your place in life, your purpose in life and all the planets that are there at the moment are going to help you get a little more in touch with that. So the sun is going to move into this area of your chart on the 23rd because the sun is our most powerful energy source. Um, and it joins Saturn, which has been there for some time. Saturn is like the planet of um, caution, but also the planet of permanency. I always feel anything that happens under a Saturn influence is... Uh, they are for some time. It's not make-believe in, in that sense. Now Mercury also is in this area and Mercury does go retrograde this week on the 21st. So you want to tune into your instincts as much as you can. Try to get into your heart out of your mind because this is a very confusing time. Keep in mind just over when Mercury turns either stationary retrograde as it is at the moment and then again stationary direct the two or three days either side of that which is right now on the 21st can be a little disruptive and let's not forget that we just had a lunar eclipse last week which can be a little unsettling with your energy as well so don't take too much notice of what's happening at the moment just try to ride through uh, you know, let be, chill out a little bit and just see what happens. And then as the energy settles down towards the middle and the end of the week, then you'll start to get more, excuse me, more clarity about what you're meant to be doing and how you can move forward. This is a great month over this next three, four weeks to do a lot of planning, okay? All right, so have a great week, Pisces. I'm Jennifer Angel, broadcasting from New York City. Thanks for watching.